Добро пожаловать! Welcome, this is Binkov's News Flash. UK vs China Aircraft Carrier Comparison China launched its first domestic-made aircraft carrier earlier this year. United Kingdom had the first of their Queen Elizabeth carriers undertake sea trials this summer. How do they compare? The British carrier is on track to be commissioned in service later this year, while the Chinese carrier, based on Soviet Kuznetsov class, will need a year or two of fitting out before sea trials could commence. Visible changes on Chinese carrier compared to its predecessor include different island, added separate flight control deck, new generation radar suite and a little more parking space on the main deck. Due to more space, it may carry a few more aircraft than its predecessor, Liaoning. Both carriers are planned to use similar number of helicopters for aerial early warning of similar weight and technology class. Queen Elizabeth is a bit bigger ship, with a slightly longer reach. It can accommodate at least 36 F-35B fighters and a large number of helicopters. But such numbers are not going to be applicable anytime in the near future. China currently has around 24 J-15 fighters. More are being built for the new carrier. F-35Bs are being slowly procured and current plan is to have 24 of them ready for the carrier by 2023. Much is talked about limitations of Kuznetsov class carriers, which will also limit the new Chinese carrier. Indeed, its forward two launching positions allow maximum takeoff weight of J-15 to be between 25 and 28 tons, depending on the wind over deck speed. In practice, it means J-15 can take off from said launching positions carrying six missiles and between 40 and 70 percent of its maximum fuel. Using the third launching position, maximum takeoff weight increases to 32 tons, allowing for a full fuel tank and four tons of weaponry. Let's see how will they cope in a head-to-head -head battle. Comparing the two planes, F-35B is a more modern plane. It has better avionics and very low radar cross-section. Its drawbacks include smaller ferry range and the fact that it cannot use anti-ship missiles inside its bomb base. Carrying them under the wings would negate much of its stealth. But for intercept missions, a J-15 with a low takeoff weight is going to fall behind in radius compared to F-35B. And for bombing missions, J-15s will likely need to fly part of their route low, cutting into their range. If F-35 would want to preserve stealth, it would also lag behind J-15 in number of air-to-air -air missiles. Its kinematics are also lagging behind, so if F-35s lose the initiative and or numerical advantage, they may not be able to outmaneuver or outrun the opponent. Still, as my F-35A vs Su-35 video showed, the Lightning does have an edge over the flanker, and with J-15s being somewhat worse than Su-35, that edge would be even greater. Chinese carrier is likely going to be better equipped for self-defense, if modeled after already in-service Liaoning carrier. In the end, Queen Elizabeth is likely to be better at strike missions, with its planes less likely to be intercepted, and by 2025 it is likely to have more planes available than the Chinese carrier. Fleet air defense missions are also on the British side, with greater range and air combat efficiency. Chinese carrier may have a slight edge in quick launch capability, with up to three planes being possibly prepped for launch at the same time. But British carrier can have more planes prepped for launch on the deck. Greater endurance is on the British side, as well as sustained sortie rate generation, due to British ship being larger and carrying more supplies. The Chinese carrier may be able to hold its own though, due to the fact F-35B won't have any internally carried long-range standoff missiles for some time, and Queen Elizabeth cannot defend against as many incoming missiles as the Chinese carrier can. They are both roughly comparable carriers, but Queen Elizabeth, once it's fully equipped, will surge ahead of Chinese carrier. As usual, feel free to subscribe, and if you really like my videos, you can support me via the above link through the Patreon crowdfunding website. And if you'd like to see a specific pair to be made into a video, hop over to my website, using the link above, and there you can submit pairs you'd like to see, as well as vote in my monthly poll, deciding which videos will be made. And remember, Binkov may talk about hypothetical wars, but only real peace can bring us all together.